What's up everyone? Red Dragon sent me their K596 Vishnu mechanical gaming keyboard to take a look at and review. And it quickly became one of my favorite products that I've ever tested from Red Dragon. This thing's loaded with features for the price, around 69 US dollars, which I think is an absolute steal for what they're giving us with this one. Check it out. The keyboard ships with a set of switch and key pullers cause it is hot swappable as long as you use the right switches. There's a nice quality braided USB-C cable for connecting to your PC and also for charging the battery. We get a removable wrist rest that connects with a pair of magnets at the bottom of the board. And there's a box of sample switches that you can swap in and out to get a feel for each different type. We gotta talk about the build quality. This thing has a build that has no business being on a keyboard at this price point. This is probably the most solid keyboard I have ever felt. It's entirely plastic. There's no metal from what I can tell, but man, did they build this thing strong. I can't bend it or flex it or twist it, nothing like that. And I applied quite a bit of force to it to try and get it to move. And this thing just doesn't budge. It's honestly one of the best keyboards I've ever held in terms of build quality. Even the removable wrist rest that it comes with is like really strong and solid feeling and it connects to the front of the board using a pair of magnets and they're super powerful. You can actually pick up and hold the weight of the entire board just by the wrist rest. Not that you'd ever really want to do that, but it just shows you how strong it really is. On the bottom, there's the usual adjustable feet with some rubber pads for grip that you find on most keyboards. There's an on off switch to toggle on the wireless mode and the 2.4 gigahertz USB wireless dongle gets stored down here as well. When it comes to wireless stuff, I only use wireless gaming mice because I just can't stand having the wire dragging around and moving all over the place as I swing my mouse around. But when it comes to keyboards, it's a little bit of a different story because you just don't move a keyboard around the same way that you would a mouse, obviously. But in this case, I did notice that the K596 using it in wireless mode was pretty cool. Having a completely wireless setup with your keyboard and your mouse just eliminates all the clutter of the wires on your desk. And then any micro adjustments or if you need to move stuff around on your desk, it's just that much easier not having any wires to worry about. And if you're worried about some lag with the wireless, you probably shouldn't be because I played games using the wireless mode and then I plugged it in so it was hardwired and I couldn't tell a difference between the two. There's definitely no noticeable lag there. I'm sure there is if you were to measure it down to like the microsecond, but at the end of the day, I didn't notice anything. It was a completely seamless experience using it wired and wireless. And then when it comes to battery life, this thing's offering up to 10 hours according to Red Dragon, which I mean, that's not too bad, but I'm sure it does does depend on how much of the RGB backlighting you're using and what type of effects and how bright it is. But one thing I did notice is if you're in wireless mode, after about a minute or so, if your keyboard's idle, it'll automatically switch the lighting off and not turn on again until you hit a key. So that helps as well. Red Dragon uses their own unique font and it's really bold and kind of gamer looking. It might not be for everyone, but it doesn't really bother me. I have no issues seeing everything and identifying all the keys. This thing's loaded with features and functions. There's 10 customizable on-the-fly macro keys, a function layer on the F keys for search, email, media, and all that sort of stuff. And then there's also a set of dedicated multimedia keys along the top, which includes a volume wheel that can also function as a brightness controller for the RGB lighting just by toggling one of the dedicated keys. And there's six different lighting profiles on the keys sitting just above the arrow pad. You can pretty much take full control of the keyboard just by using the functions and the key combinations on the board itself. So that means you don't have to really rely on any type of software. But if you do like to use software, there is an app that you can download for free from Red Dragon's website. The software will give you access to some extra customization options for all the keys and stuff like that. And there's also some extra lighting profiles that you can choose from. There's actually a pretty big list of preset effects in there. Um, but be warned, Red Dragon software is not quite as good or as intuitive as some of the competing stuff out there on the market. That's something that I always say about their software, something that I'd like to see them improve. But you know what? It does work and it will get the job done. So if you need to use it, go ahead and download it. RGB lighting isn't really the brightest on here, but it does shine through enough to light up all the keys to make them easy to see. And there's also a little glow in between. They also added a little bit of lighting to both sides. It looks good, but you might not really notice it all that much because it's kind of angled downward towards your desk. Overall, I'd say the lighting's pretty good. It's definitely not the best out there, but at the same time, it's definitely not bad. Keycaps are all removable and replaceable. I couldn't find any official info on the material, but they do feel really sturdy and kind of grippy. It's possible that they're just basic ABS plastic, but if that's the case, they're a really good, well-made ABS keycap. 
This board's using red linear switches with 40 grams of force, two millimeter actuation point, and there is a little bit of wobble that I noticed, but it's really not all that bad. And it's fully hot swappable, so you can replace these with other Red Dragon or Otemu switches if you can find them. I ended up playing a few games of Overwatch and then I also jumped into Cyberpunk 2077 and played around in there with the K596 and overall, both games, it was a really good experience. I think it does really well in both wired and wireless mode. Like I said before, I can't really tell the difference so that's a good thing. The red linear switches are, they're really good and responsive and they're really fast. For me, they're a little too fast, but that's just reds in general. It's not reflective of just these red dragon switches. Um, when it comes to red switches, I tend to make all kinds of accidental key presses because there's no tactile bump that tells me when I'm about to register a press or not. So um, that's just me though, or hopefully it's just me because that can be really frustrating. But overall, the gameplay experience here and even just the typing experience, I was doing some work with it as well over the last couple days. It's just really good. I can't say anything bad about the Way this keyboard performs. So overall, this keyboard's offering a tremendous value for 70 US dollars as far as I'm concerned, and I'm gonna highly recommend it. This thing's wired and it's also wireless. It's got RGB lighting. It's got loads of functions and different types of macro keys. It's got dedicated multimedia keys. I mean, you name it, this thing has it. And on top of that, that build quality is just amazing. It's better than keyboards that cost twice as much that I've tested. So I think Red Dragon did an amazing job with the K596 and I have no problem recommending this one. In fact, I highly recommend this one. So I'm gonna have some purchasing links down in the description. If you pick one of these up, make sure you leave a comment and tell us what you think about it. And also get subscribed because there's a lot more content on the way and we'll see you.